I've mentioned in a lot of my other videos that Idaho experiences all four seasons. And while for a lot of people living in LA, Las Vegas, or Arizona, Texas, they go, hey, that sounds great. I'd love that. And for a lot of people they do, but there's some people out there like me that when the weather starts to change, the seasons change, it's more significant. That there can be a feeling of sadness. Your joints can start hurting and your energy levels drop. It is no fun and it can make living here very difficult. So today I have put together a long list of the things that I do and you can expect to do if you've never lived here in order to keep your spirits high and enjoy this wonderful place in all four seasons. Stick around. Hello and welcome to another episode of Living Life in North Idaho. My name is Trent and I've lived in this area for 30 years. If you're interested in knowing more about what it's like living, eating, working, playing, and buying real estate here in Idaho, then this is the channel for you. Go ahead and tap the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so every time I come out with a new video, you get notified. And guys, every single day we're getting calls, texts, and emails from people just like you that have been watching the channel and maybe they have some questions that we haven't covered in some of our videos and they haven't decided if Idaho is the right place for them or they have decided that Idaho is the right place for them and they just need someone to help make it happen for them, to help them get up here. That's why we're here. So if this is you, reach out with a phone call, text or email listed right below. Day, nights or weekends, it does not matter. We're always excited to help people figure out if Idaho is the right place for them and to help get them here. Now for some of you, some of these suggestions are gonna be just total common sense, but for anyone who's only been here for a year or two or is serious about getting moved out here, you wanna watch all of these, especially the last ones. Those are very, very important, so make sure you stick around. Okay, so let's get started. Living in this area, it's absolutely wonderful. You've seen my footage. It's obviously gorgeous here. There's tons of wildlife and things to do, but that's mostly in the summer and in the winter if you like winter sports. But what about the fall? What about when it's nasty outside and you're not getting the sunshine and there's not much to do and you're just kind of stuck indoors for the most part? Well, the first thing is that you're gonna need, you're gonna need coffee. You're gonna need a lot of coffee. And if you drive around Coeur d'Alene and the surrounding areas, you're gonna go, my God, there's a lot of coffee places. There's coffee stands, there's coffee shops, there's art galleries that offer coffee. Why do we drink so much coffee? Because when the sun's not shining and it's cold and nasty out, the black stuff really gets you going. And I happen to love it. But I will tell you, you will go broke if you do not have a good coffee maker at home. That's why my wife and I, we got this Ninja. It was a gift, actually. I think it was a wedding gift. But we really, really like it. We had a previous version of the Ninja. It didn't work so well. So that's just what we like. If you want to look at this one, there's a link in the description that will take you to Amazon. It helps me if you buy it through me, but you don't have to. But definitely need to have your coffee. Now, what are my favorite coffee places to go to? Sometimes it's nice to go get a handcrafted by the finest baristas in all the land and pay $6 for an Americano. <laughs> Uh, I really, really love Fine Brood. Uh, my buddy Nick Leonard and his wife Danny, they own it. I like supporting local. Evans Bros, they originated out of Sandpoint. They're a little more on the hipster side, but it's kind of fun, you know? I go there to figure out how old I am because I hear all the young people saying things I no longer understand. And then of course you have Vault Coffee, which is right next to my office. I do like them. They're a little bit expensive and it's kind of loud in there, but I love the decor and it's a cool place. So we have some really awesome coffee places. You just have to figure out what your flavor is. And if you're a Starbucks person, don't worry, we have those everywhere as well. So definitely need to have your coffee if you want to keep your energy levels nice and high during the winter and fall season. Now, for those of you that maybe had too much coffee during the day and now you need to calm down a little bit, you might be looking for a really good beer or a glass of wine. We've got lots of places around the downtown Coeur d'Alene area to go have one of those. One of my favorite spots for when I did drink was Crown and Thistle. They have the absolute best Guinness on tap that you'll ever have. I've been told that it's like going to England or Ireland and having it there. So definitely check that out and they have some really good traditional English food. 
And for a glass of wine, there's lots of places to get a good glass of wine downtown Coeur d'Alene. You've got the Wine House, wouldn't you know it? They have wine there. Uh, there's some art galleries, Live for Blue, that you can get a really great glass of wine while looking at art and several other spots. I haven't drank in about two and a half years. I really don't miss it, but I know people enjoy that. And so those are some really great spots to check out. Now, this next one is going to be very counterintuitive because most people don't like to go out when it's cold and wet outside. But if you are a hiker or explorer, this is some of the best hiking and exploring that you're gonna find all year round. Why is that? Because the leaves are starting to change color and the rain makes it quiet out there other than the sound of the rain. You're gonna see more animals with their antlers. It's a really, really awesome time. And the biggest part is people are weenies and they don't like to be cold and wet. So you won't see as many people out on the trail. You just need to go and get yourself a good waterproof pair of hiking shoes, some waterproof pants and jacket. Just get the right gear and it's actually really awesome. It's my favorite time to hike. Kind of bummed I can't do it right now. Still recovering from my hip surgery in March. Kind of a bummer, but I got to tell you, it really is awesome. And I'll list some of my favorite hiking trails in the description if you're looking for a great place to go hiking. Now, I mentioned earlier in the video, my joints and muscles start hurting when it starts getting cold and nasty outside. Especially if you're going out hiking, you're gonna need to find a great place to do sauna as well as ice bath if you've got it in you. I did mention in a previous video my favorite place to go, which is really one of the only places to go for traditional Finnish style sauna and ice bath. It's called Heat Proxia. It's just below my office in downtown Coeur d'Alene. And if you use the promo code that I'll probably put in there when I'm editing, you'll get 30% off if you wanna go and try it. It really is awesome. I am a huge proponent of it because it really does help lower inflammation and keep your immune system up. Now on that note, keeping your immune system up, did you know vitamin D deficiency is absolutely awful for you? And that it is really a big deal up here. A lot of people are deficient in vitamin D and it's as easy as going on Amazon and ordering a bottle of vitamin D and taking it on a regular basis. It doesn't upset your stomach, it doesn't have a taste to it, but if you don't take it, you will start having some weird ailments, really low energy, depression, all sorts of problems if you don't take it. And you'll end up going to your doctor, they'll try to put you on a medication, don't do that. Just go buy the bottle, again, in the description. You can go to Amazon, I'll show you what I get. My dad and brother are chiropractors, mom and sister are nurses, so they kind of told me what the good stuff is and they highly recommend this. So check it out, definitely need that vitamin D to keep your immune system up. Now, again, part of taking your body, going and doing the sauna, going and doing the vitamin D is also having a good workout regimen. I really like being a part of a gym that has tanning beds. You need both of those here if you want to stay positive and as well as look good when you come out of winter. That's probably the worst part of living here. Your body will trick you. It will go, oh, uh, winter's here. It's going to get cold and food is scarce during that time. So we better start packing on the pounds. And then Halloween comes around with all the candy and then Thanksgiving with all the food and the snacks and the parties and then Christmas. And by the time you get to spring, you're going to look in the mirror and go, I think I'm part grizzly bear because I, I look like I just hibernated. You don't want that. You want to be hitting the gym. You're going to feel good. You're going to look better. If you do tanning, that's going to help you a lot. Get some of that, those, uh, I mean, they're fake sun rays, but they still, they trick the the mind and body into feeling like you've had some sun. Uh, I really love Planet Fitness. It's $20 a month. Actually, you can do it for 10. If it's just you, you don't wanna use the tanning beds or the massage beds, it's 10 bucks a month. $20 a month if you want access to all of their stuff as well as being able to bring someone with you for free. I don't know how to beat that and it's really not that packed there. I mean, if you go during peak hours, say on a, a Saturday at noon, it might be kind of busy, but I can always find a machine to use. It's a really, really great outfit. I'll provide a referral link below if you wanna check it out. I think you do get a little bit of a perk or a discount or something if you use it. But check it out, Planet Fitness. There's also Anytime Fitness and a lot of other gyms, Peak Fitness. Um, so you really have your pick of the litter here. I just know that Planet Fitness is probably the best for the price. Now, even though fall just hit, 
For those of you in the know who've lived here a while, this isn't new news to you, but anybody who's not lived here a while, this is going to be new for you. You're gonna wanna start doing your winter clothes shopping now. Costco usually starts rolling out with the winter jackets and the flannels and the fleece lined pants and you're, most of us go, yeah, why do I need that? It's just fall, I mean, winter's so far away. By the time fall hits, all that stuff is sold. They're already back to selling trunks. No, I'm just kidding. Sometimes it feels that way though. But yeah, definitely start getting your winter clothes, your winter boots. They're not gonna be as expensive. Also, go find your snow shovels and your snow throwers now because they're gonna be cheaper. You wait until there's a snowstorm, good luck. You're not gonna find one, and if you do, it's gonna be very expensive. Now, of course, if you're cheap like me, frugal. Let's use the word frugal. You go online, you go on Craigslist, you go on Facebook Marketplace, you can find a good used one. Stay away from the electric. Stay away from the puny little ones, because guess what? Those only work when really it's not that bad to shovel anyway. But when it's really bad to shovel, they're not gonna work. That's the point on having a snow thrower so you're not out there throwing your back out. Don't do that. Definitely get a good snow thrower. I spent $800 on mine uh, at Sears in 2008 and it still works. I've never had to tune it up, nothing. I just put some gas stabilizer in it. It works great, so definitely go and get that snow thrower now, as well as any snow shovels. They're gonna be a lot cheaper right now than later on. And in case you did throw your back out because you didn't take my advice and you do end up having to shovel and you need a chiropractor, there's a lot of chiropractors in this area. My dad's been a chiropractor since I was five years old, so I feel like I know a good chiropractor when I see one. Blue Chip Chiropractic, Dr. Rich May, he's the man. You'll go in there, you might hear some Metallica. That's okay, he's really good at what he does and he's kind of a free spirit. I love this man, he's helped me a lot with my injuries and my neck. If you're in Spokane though, you don't wanna to drive to Coeur d'Alene. Go see my brother, Dr. Michael Marchese at Central Chiropractic, he's wonderful too. It's just a little bit far for me to drive. I'll list their information below and in the description. Definitely go check them out. Now, obviously you guys can see I am promoting a lot of different businesses and a lot of different things here, and that's okay. That's what we do here in Coeur d'Alene. We try to support local, we try to offer, if we know of something good, we want that business to survive. Even though the population has grown a lot, you still need to refer people. A lot of the marketing, the digital marketing, it doesn't work as well up here because people are still a little bit more traditional and old school. So recommend, if you find something you love, share it with your friends. Bless that business, that company, or that doctor, or whoever it is, and tell your friends, tell people where to go. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did, and leave me a comment. Let me know if this was helpful, and if you have a better recommendation than what I made. I just, you know, I'm a simple guy. I have a few areas that I like to go, certain things that I recommend, and if I'm not going to a place, I really can't recommend it unless they call me and pay me, which nobody is doing that yet. I hope that happens, it'd be rad. Anyway, give me a call if you are serious. If you do have questions about moving to Idaho, you do wanna get moved up here, give us a phone call, text, or email. Day, nights, weekends, my team is always available. Until the next one, I will see you later. Ugh, sweet coffee.